I am in love with one man. His name is Andrew. He is sure a real friend to me. We have been together for about seven years and he has never betrayed me or left me in difficult situations. I am grateful to my destiny that I have this person in my life and I can't help admiring him. We got acquainted seven years ago, when we both started to attend Aikido classes. That time I was not in very good psychical condition after my previous love affair. Everything reminded me of my sad experience so I decided to get occupied with something to forget about my broken heart. I went to the classes with my friend. There, waiting for the beginning of the lesson I saw him for the first time. We didn't know each other but something made me look at him. It seemed to me that he was the same age with me. I admitted that he was quite handsome. He had dark hair and large blue eyes. He was not tall but possessed a good figure. The only flaw in his appearance was that he looked too serious. His face didn't show the slightest hint of a smile. Later. It turned out that he is very funny and enjoys laughing and smiling. Aikido classes were held three or four times a week. During the first month I've learned a little about this person. He was exactly not a beginner in martial arts. His movements were quick and skillful and he could easily win any duels. I was amazed by his strength. I've never thought that he has paid any attention to me, but one October evening I've got a message from him in a social network. We talked a little that evening and then our relationships began. After several dates I realized that this man was exactly the one whom I needed. Andrew is a versatile person. He has got a lot of hobbies. Besides martial arts, he likes music. He can play various musical instruments and composes music and songs in rock style. He has a very pleasant voice when he sings. He has a portable drum set, a MIDI keyboard and three guitars at home. He is also fond of fishing. He can easily catch a big fish and prepare it by himself. He is not lazy to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and ride a bicycle to the lake, where he spends a lot of time holding a fishing pole. Shooting is among his hobbies too. Fortunately he doesn't kill animals or birds. He likes to shoot at targets with a pneumatic gun or a crossbow that has been presented to him by his father. Andrew has golden hands. He will not let me get into trouble. It seems to me that he can do everything. Repair different appliances, make fire, chop wood, do various things at home. He is always ready to help not only me but also his friends and relatives. This man is very inquisitive in different spheres of life. Everything is interesting to him. He is fond of watching scientific films and reading books. The theme of cosmos and the origin of humanity interest him a lot. He is fond of experiments. Several times he tried to produce electricity from potatoes and grow salt crystals in a glass. His dream is to become a millionaire. He studies forex trading and plans to organize his own business. He doesn't like to waste money. At the same time he makes me gifts and takes me to restaurants if I want. Andrew is in good shape and keeps fit. Every morning he starts with exercises. He can dive cartwheel, do flips and do splits. He can walk on hands too. He has no bad habits. He doesn't smoke and drink. Of course, 
There are no people without flows. Andrew is not an exception. I don't like when he uses bad words or says silly things. He is selfish and thinks that he is always right. It is pointless to argue with him. And he is a jealous man. He is nervous when I communicate with other men. We always have a lot of fun together. It is not boring to spend time with him. We like to travel, visit museums and exhibitions, walk in parks and play games. We are together practically all the time and we are still not tired of each other. I think that in future we will get married and have children, because I love Andrew and want to be with him for ages.